Top stories from around the island. To the point. Without the fluff. Puerto Rico headline news. Please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification. Hello and welcome to Puerto Rico headline news for April 16th, 2020. This is your COVID-19 update for Puerto Rico. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to this channel, like the video, and don't be afraid to share this content. Just the numbers. Uh, my goal for this channel is to create two videos a day. That'll be my goal. Uh, the first video I'll create in the morning will be just the numbers. Just the latest information reports from the Department of Health. Uh, so if that's something that uh, you find interesting, uh, you can just watch that video. In the afternoon, I'll provide a separate video based on uh, breaking news in Puerto Rico. It doesn't have to involve the coronavirus. Uh, it can involve the economy, law, sports, whatever the case may be. Anything of interest, of high interest uh, to the um, YouTube subscribers of my channel, I'll definitely include that, and then you'll have your choice of being able to watch uh, whichever video uh, you would like uh, to watch. So again, I thank you if you've subscribed to this channel. Thanks to all my subscribers. Let me know in the comments uh, if it's a good idea to, to do that, and certainly I'll be able to tell if you like this video as well. So let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the latest headlines here. El Nuevo Dia is reporting for April 16th that Puerto Rico has exceeded 1,000 confirmed cases. Uh, on the island. So let's get into this article and it says more than a month after the first case of the of COVID-19 or the coronavirus was reported in Puerto Rico, the Department of Health confirmed this Thursday today that patients infected with the disease increased to 1,043 confirmed cases while the number of deaths is at 56. Now the five most recent deaths are a 55-year-old woman from the Ponce region who tested positive uh, before dying while the other four deaths were added after uh, death, but they had symptoms related to the coronavirus, so they um, have been certified as dying of the COVID-19, although they were not tested prior. Now, it was reported that out of the 69 new confirmed cases for today, five were processed in the Department of Health laboratory, only five, 62 in the private labs uh, around the island, and two were reported by the Uh, Veterans Hospital. The article continues to mention, according to the data provided by the Department of Health, the total number of tests carried out so far are 9,829, of which 1,465 are still uh, pending. Uh, six others uh, remain unconclusive. Now, the town that continues to dominate the statistics with the highest number of reported cases is the San Juan area, or San Juan, with 137, followed by Guaynabo with 64, and Bayamon with 49. However, the Department of Health Agency still does not have information on 335 confirmed cases. Uh, meanwhile, the age group that has registered the most cases is still the 50- to 59-year-old uh, age group, which has 227 confirmed cases. Um, we're going to discuss um, this in detail, but the Department of Health data also mentions that they have 3,594 uh, beds for adults available in hospitals to treat those with the coronavirus. Right now, 2,500 are occupied. Uh, as for respirators uh, in these institutions, Uh, over 500 are being used right now. So let's go ahead and get into the um, the internet portal provided by the Department of Health. And let's take a look and see what information uh, we can find there. So here you see the Puerto Rico COVID-19 information portal. Uh, I'll include a link in the description of this video as well. You can actually go there and spend a, a good amount of time looking at all the data that's being provided. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the information that we're able to, to glean from this. In the top left-hand corner, you'll see the confirmed cases at 1,043. Uh, if you click right here, it'll take us to the next uh, data. Uh, 7,315 have uh, from the tests that have been conducted. Uh, this amount has come back negative. And then we have 1,465 tests that are pending, um, six that are inconclusive uh, as far as the, the result. And uh, new cases today, 69 uh, for today. Uh, total tests that have come back 
with a result 8,364 uh, total uh, amount of tests that have been uh, conducted so far 9,829 and it starts all over again so let's go ahead to this next box down here so this gives us a breakdown by uh, the confirmed cases uh, of all the tests that have been taken uh, how many have come back positive how many are pending uh, how many came back negative and uh, which ones are uh, un inconclusive uh, and then uh, this is a breakdown you press this button here by gender so we see here 51.77 percent are male 48.23 are female so that's the breakdown there uh, the breakdown of reported confirmed cases so here's an interesting one. So these, this measures the amount of cases that have been reported on a daily basis and who's turning in those reports. So here we see this, this pie and we find out that from private labs, the confirmed cases that were reported today uh, amount to 89, almost 90% of the confirmed cases uh, were reported by private labs on the island. Uh, the Department of Health only 7.25% and Veterans Hospital 2.9%. So we see the great work that these private labs are doing on the island. Uh, we click here, we see the total amount of cases actually, um, yeah, it, it recycled already. So now we go, we go down uh, to the bottom, we see total deaths uh, so far, 56. Deaths directly related to COVID-19 are 37 while 19 have been certified as dying of COVID-19 by the doctors, certified by the doctors, although they were not tested uh, prior uh, to dying. Uh, so that's the breakdown there. And uh, here it gives us a, an interesting uh, data, total deaths on the island, regardless of, of the reason, this is the total deaths on the island. So in January, 2,653 died for all reasons, not broken down. Uh, February 2,490, March 2,365, and April so far 619 deaths have been reported. 35 uh, suicides on the island, and then that just restarted again. Here, this middle section here is very, uh, has packed with information. So here we see the confirmed cases and where uh, the clusters are, the concentration of the confirmed cases. And we can see here the metropolitan area in San Juan. Uh, Caguas, Guaynabo has the highest concentration of confirmed cases. This is by municipality. You click here and it switches over to regions, uh, broken down uh, by regions. And we can see here the San Juan region, 274. And then you see the, the rest of the breakdown as well. So very neat information uh, to have and become familiar with. This box here breaks it down by municipality. So you can just scroll down and, and, uh, and see uh, out west, we have Quebradillas with 17. Uh, I have a few uh, subscribers from, let me see here, Maya West. Uh, we have 21 uh, out in this area uh, as well. And this is just a, a bar graph of the breakdown that we see here, just in the bar graph form. We head back up here to the top right hand corner, and it's here. This is the total amount of beds for adults dedicated to the coronavirus. So here we see 3,594 beds that have been dedicated. Uh, there's 939 beds available for uh, pediatric care. And then uh, the total census or amount of adult patients, 2,511. Uh, total amount of pediatric uh Patients, 235. This is regardless of what they have. It's just a complete uh, breakdown of who's in, who finds themselves in hospitals at the moment. Uh, so that's the, the breakdown uh, of beds uh, dedicated to the coronavirus. Here, uh, again, another type of graph. So it's letting us know right now that out of the 3,594 available beds, uh, 2,511 are now being occupied, are being used. And there's only 1,083 available as of right now. Um, <clears throat> the intensive care uh, rooms or, or these beds we have here, a total of 655. Uh, 334 are currently being used, which leaves 321 
available as of today. Uh, total pediatric beds, we have available 939, uh, while 235 are being used currently. Uh, and this is the intensive care and the pediatric care. Uh, so we have a total of 97 uh, ICU beds, uh, 69 are currently being used, while 28 are available. Uh, the negative pressure rooms, this is uh, some neat information, there's 328 uh, negative pressure rooms, 153 are being used right now, and that leaves us with 175. Uh, let's go back down to uh, the bottom right here, uh, and this is the information or data we have on ventilators that are available. So right now there's 1,033 available uh, ventilators uh, on the island. 255 are currently being used, that leaves us with 778 uh, that are uh, available. Uh, total ventilators in pediatric care, uh, 184. 32 are currently being used. That leaves us with 152 that are available. And uh, these are the ventilators that have been ordered. 300 have been ordered in addition to what they already have, a little over 1,000. How many have been received yet? None. How many have been uh, uh, returned? Zero. And entregados means returned or, or given away so that's a zero there and uh, so this is basically all the information here uh, again I'm gonna break down these videos just the numbers will be the morning edition of Puerto Rico headline news in the morning and then in the afternoon any breaking news related to the coronavirus in a separate uh, video will be provided along with general uh, news worthy articles uh, that can cover that will cover the entire island of Puerto Rico. Let me know in the uh, comments if this is a good idea. Should I revert back to the same style or let's give this a, a try? And obviously, if uh, you hit that like button, I know that uh, you'll be in agreement with this new format that I'm going to give a, a, a shot to. So once again, this is uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing as well liking these videos, and don't forget to share. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Puerto Rico Headline News.